dog wildfire, fire performer, and certified circus freak from Regina, Saskatchewan. It started in 2017 at Nash Creek Music Festival in Northern Saskatchewan. Uh, my friends, my bandmates were going up last minute, heard about the festival, and I had never heard of it or been before, so uh, last minute decision, yeah, I'm gonna go, let's go check out this music festival, it should be cool, It'll be fun. And uh, we go up there and uh, it was the last night. We're hanging out and everyone's like, what are we doing tonight? What show are we gonna check out? And uh, my friends are like, we're gonna go check out the fire show down at the drum circle. And I was like, oh, fire show, that sounds cool. I wanna check that out. So we go down there for the show and uh, see this group, Travel Vibes Wildfire, and they're spinning fire. They're throwing fire around, spinning staff, spinning hoops and all this thing, and it's all brand new to me. It's something I've never really seen before. And I remember standing there and watching it with my buddy, and I was just like, damn, and that's metal. That's heavy metal, that's so cool. I wanna do that, is what I said. And uh, yeah, we got back to the city after the weekend, and we went to the hardware store, and we bought two broomsticks. And we just started hanging out, uh, Spinning them in the park and kind of went from there. And then later that year, there's another festival, Aloha Festival, that happens here in uh, kind of by Fort Capel in Saskatchewan. And uh, Travel Vibes Wildfire was performing at that too. So we're there and kind of like knew who they were from NAS and also just being in the scene in Regina music scene and stuff knew kind of who these people were but then actually met them there and I was like hey guys I like saw you in S Creek and I got super inspired and I bought this uh broomstick and I remember I taped uh glow sticks onto the end and was like spinning around and they come up to me and they're like oh do you want to try this one it was like a, a real led one and I was like oh my god like hell yeah I want to try that one that's so cool uh and then from there, that's kind of how I met them. And uh, the winter goes by and comes springtime. One day I was just hanging out and I got a message from them and they're like, hey there, uh, do you want to come over and audition to be in our group? Come bring your drum and bring your staff and show us what you got kind of thing. So the group I saw and inspired then asked me to join them. And that's who I perform with now, Travel Vibes Wildfire. It really kicked off in summer of 2019. We went to perform at Astral Harvest Festival in Northern Alberta, and that was like a huge EDM festival, like huge established rave festival, which I had never been to one before. And that's, that was never really my scene before. I was like heavy metal music, I like punk, I like going to shows like that. I never went out to the club for dancing, I never went to raves or whatever. It wasn't, I wasn't into that, so I was like, Oh, okay, well, this will be cool to perform. I was like, kind of see a new festival and stuff. And obviously I was like really interested in a lot of the like workshops that would have been happening throughout the weekend, not like the big parties at night and dancing and everything. But it wasn't until we went to this festival that I really opened my eyes to the world of the, the modern day circus and uh, fire performing and LED flow and sideshow stuff and it was a realization that the modern day circus stuff happens at these EDM festivals in a way. And it wasn't until I saw that, I kind of clicked. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense that this is a part of that scene. Cause I remember thinking before, I was like, where do people do this stuff? Or where does it happen? I don't know how to find a community for this besides like the very small select people I know who do it. And it wasn't until we saw that, I was like, oh, this, Makes sense, this is where it happens and stuff. It's ingrained in that dance culture because it is dancing and everything. And I wasn't a dancer before, so I didn't know where that came from. So that was a huge uh, eye opener for this whole new world that I was interested in, but didn't know existed or where it happened.
Well, the piece that I performed tonight is, a, I guess, a showcase of the staff skills I've acquired over the last few years. Uh, of course, you can't just break that down into a three-minute dance piece, but uh, a snippet of what I do for you. Um, the music I perform to is by an artist, uh, I Become the Wicked, who is uh, a good friend of mine. He is also uh, a photographer I work with most of the time for a lot of what I do in my f uh, photo shoots and videos we've done. He goes by uh, Wicked Twist Media. And yeah, he made that music tonight, which I really vibed with because it uh, just has like a really dark element to it which is what i like like uh and it was when i first found this i liked the i was like that's the fire that's so metal i liked like the spooky and the dark side of it not the, like the kind of the happy dancey rave side to it so i always focus on yeah the fire and the dark side of it so that's why i like the music it was really drawn to for this yeah, so the type of fire performance I tend to focus on is uh, staff spinning, single staffs, double staffs, um, short batons, uh, a little bit of juggling, uh, fire eating. Um, I don't do fire breathing. It would be something I'd like to pursue one day, but that might come come in time and come with a proper teacher if that comes. But then again, uh, that's a whole other level of this performance art. Um, that's kind of what I specialize in. I do a little bit of uh, like poi and hoop just with the, the props, but not with fire. But all these things are kind of within the same realm. You find once you start spinning staffs a lot, uh, a lot of moves cross over into poi and you find these props are within the same universe. So it's really cool. It's just the realm of circus props. So what's next? Everything, everything and anything. Uh, so I like to do a lot of ideas, a lot more shoots, and uh, I would like to maybe work with some bands in videos and definitely be touring again as soon as we can, music festival circuits, and maybe one day actually run away with the circus.